Hello and welcome to 3 Daughter TV. I am Vishaka Thakur. The evolution of metaverse will open up new horizons for brands, businesses and the community as a whole. According to a report by Markets and Markets, the global metaverse market is projected to reach $426.9 billion by 2027. Metaverse gaming tokens of Gala Games, Axie Infinity, Sandbox and Decentraland have experienced a surge and significant growth recently. So to discuss in detail about what exactly is happening in the Metaverse space, I have been joined by Mr. Akhil Damodaran, Dean IILM University and CEO of Elteritium. Welcome to 3 Dotto TV. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So, Mr. Akhil, you may be aware of the report from Daprada that shows in the first half of 2023, Metaverse projects attracted investment from venture capital firms, totaling $707 million, representing 44% of all Web3 investments. So, your opening remarks on the current scenario of Metaverse market. So, to be very frank, uh, uh, Vishaka, let me answer this question in one way: that the major surge for the metaverse trend to come back, okay, which is very, ha which is very happening and happy for me, that in the, in the last six months you, you saw a lot of uh, metaverse trend coming up. True. I want to thank largely first thing to Meta, to Apple, because to be very frank to you, uh, when Facebook came out with Meta, Apple and others, uh, some 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 of the competitors who really did not. Uh, uh, you know, uh, bet on metaverse, and that's also one of the reasons why you know metaverse was looking like a face. But then now, when the Apple Pro came in, and 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 then Facebook also came out with the Quest Three, and somehow the metaverse market uh, 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 came out again. See, the 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 world works that way. The leader has to start. So the leaders are Apple and Facebook, and they both betted well, and and they have shown the kind of graphics and the spatial experience. Even if you look at after Apple 15 Pro and the Pro and and the special uh, glass which they have come up with, uh, the video making and everything is looks like exactly that the future exactly will be in metaverse. I mean they are trying to build up the audience for it. I mean that's that's why they have come out sure. with these these aspects. Second very important point is the token. I mean the reason why most of the uh, like Gala games if you're, you're talking about. So what happened here is keep. Uh, in the last three to four months, gamification has improved a lot in the sense that gaming industry has literally taken up automatically. Yes. And, and that also because the leaders have come up. And if you look at Sony's and others, they also are now betting on tokens. I mean, that's that's why these startups, uh, these small startups with tokens have really come up well. So because of which what happened is he, all of us in the gaming industry, the, uh, the the gamification of earn of earn while you play. I mean that's that's the that's the way uh, to say it. Literally took the customer uh, into picture. And now what happened is because you, you can now earn while you play, and that market has come up well. And that's the reason why you see a lot a lot of token on, uh, token based games have come up. And to play the token 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 based game, you need to have an experiential metaverse system. And that's how everything comes. Last component was which people thought is the enemy of metaverse, but it was the AI. And but it actually it is not the enemy, it actually augmented the metaverse to the next level. Because now, uh, especially after NVIDIA came out with Omniverse, I mean that's that's the, uh, the, the the word to it. What happened is now they have integrated AI as a part of a customer experience inside inside, inside the metaverse. The, meta, the, the, the consumer can talk to the AI, get the problem solved, right. get the experience inside metaverse. You feel like human society inside. I mean, that's where it is coming out to be. So to be very frank, now I'm very happy to see blockchain, AI, metaverse coming together. And metaverse is the platform on, on, on which this is going to be. And that's what people start believing in it. That's why you see a lot of investment coming in. That's the, uh, the summary take out of this. That's great. So Apple and Meta led the way and others followed. And you also spoke about uh, Metaverse gaming tokens such as Gala Games, Axie Infinity, Sandbox and Decentraland. So all of them have experienced a surge and significant growth recently with some token prices gaining as much as 16%. So according to you, what are the reasons behind investor interest into these tokens and will the price continue to soar? Okay, so first of all, I think the price will continue to soar for the next one year almost. And uh, you will see a slight saturation in the next half of 2024. Not decline, only saturation. And the reason for that is, as I said before as well, the tokens belong to a certain entity. And the tokens belong to a certain games, except for that matter. So now, 
because of the so called interest in earned value play that that kind of model investors are putting lot of money because you are you are seeing lot of subscribers coming into it see the whole game is a subscriber game and this is how many people are there i mean if you look at any of the metaverse the most popular metaverse are not the graphically better the metaverse the, the metaverse popular one are those where you have more subscribers i mean the people who are more you more users coming that's why that's the reason two years of metaverse was dominated by decentralized i mean not because of the graphic but the but, but the users too most of the tokens if you look at it which is currently in the market which are surging high is because they have a huge subscriber base and that because because the kind of games and 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 the the, the earning applications which are connected to it consumer are getting hooked to it okay but honestly speaking to you that may not be the main focus of these companies after one year that is only for subscriber base and that token will become a part of a bigger platform in picture in the sense people can have a lot of uh, different transactions within that particular platform and within that ecosystem what they play into it so currently that token is a token is in a building stage i would say that they are building the whole ecosystem of the token that token can be used in many things in the in the sense of transaction uh, you have chain uh, uh, different community purchase Uh, apart from that you can you can you can use those token for earning more credits inside that particular ecosystem and so on and so on so far but right now i think most of the token uh, if i look at the report most of the token companies are looking on building subscriber base building a community under those tokens that you know people love love those things and then the application will come with the token for people and that's where i would say the saturation of the price will come All right, very interesting. So, metaverse has become an important factor or key component in global business speed education. We have spoke about education several times in real estate, aviation, or healthcare. According to you, which industry will see major transformation with the help of metaverse, and why? Okay, the first industry, and please, please, please don't think it's because I am part of the education sector. That's what I'm saying. The first industry will be education. And I tell you why. It's as simple as that because uh, metaverse is like a theater. okay i mean it's like a movie theater you make it as good as possible uh you are there to watch a movie at the end of the day in the same way the content inside metaverse is becoming big thing and the first customer for metaverse if you look at any market is the student it's always a student the person who is from 17 to i mean 25 i mean that that age group is where most of the work is going 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 going, going on happening so education is one thing where it will be a really big breakthrough in the next 2 to 3 years and the companies are coming up and the good part is uh, as we are speaking uh, in the last 2 years the universities and institutions are also accepting this fact that this is a part of their curriculum it's not it's not an alien thing it's it's a part of their curriculum so that's that's a good point that's a good start Second very important point is the healthcare system. Now, healthcare there are two aspects to it. The first aspect is in healthcare is the uh, the uh, the psychologist and the counselling part of the, the area where where you see a lot of uh, uh, metaverse market coming up in the UK and Europe in which people can consult a doctor where they actually don't want to be physically present to tell the story. I mean, in the sense, some people feel it uh, not so right. I mean, they want their privacy when they are talking about mental health. Let's say. that's when metaverse is really gaining the market i'm telling you it's gaining the market i'm not talking futuristic stuff it's actually gaining the market in the uk and europe where the the, the consultation of these kind of things will happen inside metaverse so your avatar will be talking to each other and the consultation will happen accordingly it actually preserves the privacy of the real person i mean they don't want to really show off exactly what they what they actually look like so that's one thing apart from this uh, the other very important uh, area is the aviation where flight simulator to customer service to uh, the design of the airport how you make it these three will become crucial part of the uh, ecosystem of metaverse completely and i think okay. bangalore airport has already started the airport if you look at it so i mean these are the three areas which i feel is going to be the big trend in the next 2024 25 26 so, so aviation healthcare and education this is the first education Diwali is around the corner so on that note can you please highlight some important developments or some trends in the web3 space okay so in web3 space uh, the good news is the old school uh, uh, technology is coming back the smart contracts is gaining a really big importance it was not getting importance in the last two years now it's gaining back again a uh, good very important part is public sector is now focusing on uh, blockchain again because of cbdc which has come up so they are they are coming up with a uh, uh, lot of blockchain proposals in terms of smart contract in terms of documentation verification and it is gaining momentum again and, and mind you th- those are the long term projects they are not uh, i mean they if they do took it i mean public sector projects are the 
more long term, 10, 10, 15 year project. So it's a good thing for blockchain to happen. Apart from that, earning while you play, I mean, which I think we both have discussed at token, uh, tokenization, that's where the most important, uh, the gain, if you look at the last one or two years. Apart from that, with the advent of uh, MetaQuest 3 and Apple Pro, which is which is now going to be the Wish market, Pro, yes. I think there will be huge market trend, which has already started, on the content creation in Metaverse, not Metaverse, the yeah. content design Metaverse. I mean, you buy Apple Pro, what are you going to do with it? I mean, exactly. the excitement of Metaverse is only uh, short lived. The content is going to give you the thing. And that's where the market is coming up. And that's where I think most of startups should perform. I mean, these are the trends which I feel happening in the next one year. Some Diwali wishes. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you so much uh, uh, for inviting me. And have happy uh, Diwali to all the audience of 3.0 TV. And my best wishes and best of luck for the bright future ahead. And I'm uh, and really happy Diwali for all the blockchain community here. Thank you. So this was Mr. Akhil Damodar, Dean IILM University and CEO of Elte Redeem. He shared insights on the current scenario of Metaverse market and what lies in the future. Keep watching Predoto TV. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And for updates related to Web3, please log on to our website www.3verstv.io or scan the QR code. This is me Vishakha Thakur signing off.